Alex Kozlov asked, Why are there such a small percentage of humans that are thinkers or interested in philosophy or just smart in general? Um... I, I just kind of have a thoughts that we're kind of like ants. We... I think we're just sort of born to do a certain thing, but our culture is so complex and we're so far away from our animality that we're never really going to be fully in touch with that element. Um, I don't know. Um, it'd be kind of scary if we tried to truly implement something based off of that because it could be so wrong. I mean, it makes me think of communism in some ways. It makes me think about how, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, in some countries they will, you know, test people for what they'd be good at, and then, um, you know, their education is based off of those things that they'd be good at, but it doesn't have anything to do with what the person really wants to do. It's, well, what, uh, by these tests, what would you be good at? And it just sort of stifles creative thought and innovation, but anyway, that's, uh, neither here nor there. I, I just kind of think that, that there are just naturally people that will, um, just be thinkers and some that are not. Some that are the workers, some that are the, I just think we're like ants. It might seem weird, but, um, anyway, um, what are my thoughts on normal people? Normal. That's that's a hard question because it's uh you know what is normal? Of course so the answer to that really is just what is common. What's the most common? What's the lowest common denominator? Normal people get done what needs to be done. Normal people don't worry about things that are really pointless to worry about, but a lot of the thinkers out there will worry about. And there's not really any point in actually thinking about a lot of this stuff because it just it just complicates things, but um, you know, I think that's a reason why a lot of people aren't thinkers, because they, they will see that will What's the point? Let's just live life, get things done, you know, do our thing. Um, now, my other thoughts about normal people is just... They don't really see some of the extra complexities in life that can be beautiful. There's the things that make it complicated, but there's the things that can be beautiful. I think about movies and how normal people will often just watch a movie, take it for what it was, really what it was designed to be, and just kind of go with it. They can just enjoy it. Um, there's no... There's, there's not nearly as much of the uh, uh, skepticism other than, well, this was this an enjoyable movie or was this not an enjoyable movie? Not, you know, I mean, was it entertaining? Was I entertained by it? And you know, it'd be nice to be able to just look at something like a movie at just that simply. Um, for instance, I, I don't know, that's a bad example. I'm not giving good examples. Um, normal people know how to kind of deal with life better. Um, how do I feel about stupid people? I think a lot of people aren't actually stupid. They are just taught. A culture of stupidity creates stupid people. And those people that are stupid for those reasons, if they could, you know, somehow change the way that they, they look at things, they might not seem as stupid. Um... I mean, you could take 
someone who has the highest IQ ever, ever recorded, ever, even, even, highest IQ ever hypothesized as someone having, and if they were raised like crap, they'll not only think they're stupid, but they won't be able to really do much of anything. So, I mean, I even think the way someone is raised could affect the way someone's IQ scores show, uh, end up turning out. Um, God. Bad way that I worded that, but, uh. What are my thoughts on the future of society? I think that we will... <clears throat> These kids that we're making fun of for walking down the street with these things in their hands, um, sorry, but that's, uh, that's, that sort of thing is going to be generally our future, that and stuff like the Google Glass, and I mean, I don't know how well the Google, Google Glass will come into place, and I know there's going to be a bunch of laws that will come into place with that, but as far as being connected all the time, to the net, so to speak, just, just social networking, all this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, that's it's going to be around. It's going to be the... <laughs> if we think people have become narcissistic now, um, no, that's just the beginning. And what we are looking at as narcissistic is just really a different way of expressing, exp expressing one's self-esteem. Just one being expressive, people expressing themselves. Um, I think we're going to see a lot more of that. Um, unfortunately, I think we're going to see a lot more censorship of thought. Um... The kind of mindset that says that um, Phil Robertson of Duck Dynasty, you know, shouldn't have the right to state his views uh, anywhere in any sort of public square. Um, yeah, that mindset's going to increase. I think we're going to, as a society, we're going to become more politically correct. Um, I don't know what could break it. I don't know what can break this pattern. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think that. Law-wise, we're, you know, our society, we're going to become, well, it's not really, you're asked about the future of society. I mean, it's still, yeah, and it still relates. I think we're going to um, ha get hate speech laws like Canada has, um, which I disagree with. I, I think people should be able to state pretty much anything they want, except if they're, unless they're, in, you know, they're purposely inciting violence. You can't, and you can't go into a theater and yell fire. You know, things like that. But your views? No. Anyone should be able to state their views. You shouldn't. It just no. <laughs> you should be able to stand on a public corner and preach your views, whatever they may be. You should be able to go in some place where people are supposed to be able to, to state their their views. And if it is their policy, they let everyone speak, then they should let everyone speak. Now, if that's not their policy, you know, then they follow their policy and that's fine. Just like A&E, you know, he, uh, 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 Phil uh, decided to do something that would break the contract, so they, you know, kind of dumped him. So, um, I don't know where I'm going with this. I, I, I keep relating it to things I've been thinking about and things that are, that are current issues, so... They're not very good answers, probably. Um, <clears throat> what are my thoughts on capitalism? I think a regulated capitalistic system is the best uh, type of government that we can really have. Um, I wish we could be more... I wish we could be... I mean, we're a republic, so things are, you know... We, we have all these representatives and stuff, but I wish we could go more towards... Uh, a direct democracy and have a have a regulated capitalism under that kind of system it's not going to happen but I mean just in general what are my thoughts on capitalism I think it can be very good as long as it's regulated it can be very good it can be a positive thing all around for everyone
Ayn Rand. Um, I haven't studied her theories enough. You know, I've I, I listen to everyone's opinions about her theories, um, but I I can't really state how I feel because I really haven't studied her much. The general idea of what I get from uh, what I've read about her is <clears throat> I don't she she just seems to be a, a, a just like the modern Republican kind of thing and there's just it's um this trickle down idea the whole um I, I don't know I I can't say. I can't say. If I try to say any more than this, I'm going to be... I'm going to sound very ignorant, because I am. I am. I I can't really answer that very well, because I... I haven't studied her. So. George Carlin. Yes. I love George Carlin. I... I of course, I think... You asked that before I made my video that referenced him, but uh, uh, he is probably... Definitely one of my favorite, and definitely in the top three favorite uh, comedians. I like the fact that he... <clears throat> no matter what he's doing, he's trying to get people to think about something they normally wouldn't. Even if it's a silly thing that he gets people to think about, it's getting them to think about something they normally wouldn't. Um, and I just respect that. I... I, I I, I love the idea of getting people to think outside the box. Like I said, even if it's silly stuff, you're still thinking outside the box. That that sets you in a pattern that's that's cool. Um, let's see. <laughs> and thoughts on the meaning of life. Um <laughs> I can't say the meaning of anyone else's life. I, I know the meaning, for me, my meaning of life is to be an intelligent animal living in this society. And I, I've kind of said that before on other, vi on other video, other videos, I've had it said on another video. Um, and I, I think the meaning of life is to live, is to, to celebrate life, but that's, that's my meaning of life. I can't push that on anybody else. I don't think there is a universal meaning of life. I don't believe in that. I just, I don't believe in that. I don't think there is a universal meaning of life. That is different for every person. Um. Oh. I didn't see the comma. I saw, I, I saw a period. He goes, I don't mean anything like in religion more like, what you do you live for? Well, I guess I still answer that. That's still the same answer. So, I mean, it, it wasn't particularly a, a religious answer anyway. So, is it okay to commit suicide? Oh, man. Um, if, you know, if that really is someone's decision... They are in the right frame of mind. They're not in a depression that's making them feel like committing suicide. They're not having a chemical imbalance that's making them want to commit suicide. They have, they are in the right frame of mind. They know what's going on. They're making this decision. This is what they want to do. I, I have no right to stop the person from making that decision. But if they are not in the right frame of mind, they are, you know, they're under the influence of some sort of drug that's making them feel this way, or they have some sort of other chemical imbalance that's making them feel this way. No. No, I feel I would have the right to intervene. You know? I, I... It's just how I feel about it. Um, any thoughts on Japan? I don't know what... Um, I don't know what you mean exactly by that, but... <clears throat> What I like about Japan is their... They really know how to have a silly and zany side. They are very innovative in silliness, and I like that. That's something we don't seem to have here. Here, it's all about... <sighs> 
pranks, and well, they got their pranks too, but they're not. They're not like the pranks we have here. They're they're more innovative. They're more silly. Um, here, it's just. I don't know, it's just kind of celebrating stupidity, like I've, I've said in another video. Um, I think Japan knows how to do business. <laughs> um, again, they know how to be innovative, just... I mean, I, I talked initially about, you know, silliness, but they just know how to be innovative in general. Um, it's just kind of built into their culture. It's not. It's not Japanese, oh, it's not the race it's not an issue of that it's just the culture there is is just it's it's it, it, the culture allows for innovation a lot and I, that's interesting but it's also everything i've read about it is very there are some areas that are just so incredibly strict especially with schools and there's this issue of honor that for us here in this country it seems almost a little foreign but <clears throat> Other ways I look at it is it'd be kind of nice if we had a little bit more honor here. But, you know. Do I have any goals? Yes, but they're kind of fragmented and they're, they're loosely planned. Because I just know the way that life is. You... With these types of goals, I mean, most of them have to do with my music and things that are related to, to creating things. Um, using my creative talents to do something. Whatever. Um, you know, I, I, I want to do the band thing again. I very much want to do the band thing again. But you know, we'll see how that goes. Tacoma is not a great area for... Uh, or at least what, four years ago it was not a good area for trying to find bands other than metal. Excuse me. Um, so, anyway. Um, why do I make YouTube videos? I make YouTube videos because I want to share my thoughts, I want to share my perspective, and whether or not anyone, whether people completely disagree with me or not, at least I've gotten people to think about something. Um, I, I feel that I kind of think outside the box in a lot of areas. I'm not some, I mean, I, I don't think I really go that extreme. I mean, but that's from my own perspective. So, I mean, uh, I just mainly want to get people to think. Um, you know, the reason why I'll get happy that I have more subscribers, it's the fact that, hey, this is this many more people that might be able to think a little bit more about something they normally wouldn't. And even if, I mean, I, I think about Inception a lot when it comes to this. It's, is, you know, it, about, when it comes to implanting ideas, doesn't matter if you agree with the idea or not. If you have the idea, it's there. It's 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 almost like it's etched permanently in your head. It's it's going to be there somewhere. And so Yeah. Um I just I just like to I like spreading around ideas, things that get people to think. So I just keep repeating myself over and over again, but um and then sometimes it's just nice to vent. It's just nice to vent. Uh, to just... To be able to have a place where I feel I can talk about just things that I'm thinking about and maybe, maybe some people might be able to relate with it. So... Um, it's also really nice to be able to connect with people. Um, I really, really enjoy the comments that people make. Even when I completely disagree with what they're saying. Heck, even sometimes when people are trolling. The trolls are sometimes fun to deal with. It's like, really? Really, you're trying that? You're serious? <laughs> you know, it's, it's fun sometimes, even with that. So, I mean... 
I don't know. I have a good time. I have a good time. We're sharing ideas. We're sharing perspectives. I gain a lot of in. I gain a lot of perspective from people's comments. Um, I've changed my my mind on a number of issues. Um, God, I think about uh, gun control. God, uh, when when they when the which what's the name of the Sandy Hooks incident happened near the beginning of the year. And I just flipped on on gun control. I was like, I became a thumb. Oh, gun control! Yeah, yeah. Restrictions. They're gonna work. They're gonna really work. And it's like, no, they're not gonna work. They're not gonna work. Are we? Are, our gun culture is too strong here. It's ridiculous to try to do anything like that. Yeah, I might wish that there were less guns. Wish there was less gun violence. But come on. It's like saying, oh, why can't we all just get along, you know? So I eventually switched back after people made enough comments, you know, to me saying, hey, you know, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, shit, I guess you're right. Um, there have been issues about feminism that I've flip-flopped around because of the comments. Uh, um, you know, and when I say flip-flopped around, I'm just saying I changed my mind. It's like, wow, you're right. I wasn't looking at this clearly. So. Well, that's the end of that. Okay, you got you got one more question. You said, this is one that you made later on. You said, and how much do you think you have changed in the last 10 years? My goodness. <laughs> I, I don't think I'm the same person. I don't. I really don't think I'm the same person that I was 10 years ago. <laughs> but I don't feel I'm the same person I was a year ago. But, yeah, 10 years? Oh my goodness. Um, how much do I think I've changed? Um, the last 10 years has just been so much learning. So much. I think about the difference between 30 and 40. Holy shit. I, I can't even... You know, I, I think I would have to make another video for that, man. That's... But I would have to sit there and think about it. For a long time. I mean... Just wow. Wow. Um... <laughs> yeah. Uh... Anyway, thanks for those questions. Um, I, I don't know if I answered them sufficiently. I know I've rambled on a lot, and this video is 23 minutes long.